Let not your circumstances, let not your experiences, let not what others say determine your faith to know who you are. If Jesus has declared your royalty, then you're royalty. If the Lord has declared that you're a son of God, then you're a son of God. If God has declared that you're the righteousness of God, then you are the righteousness of God. So when I enter into a situation, it might seem like you are bound. It might seem like there is no answer. It might seem like it's never going to break through. But it doesn't matter. I am a child of God and he declared I'm an overcomer because he lives inside me. I am of God and the greater one lives inside me. Therefore, I will overcome. That's a dominion mindset. A mind that says, I am in control. Why? Because he's in me. I tap into the wisdom of God. I walk with the anointing of God. And I am a child of God. Therefore, everything will have to bow to me. Glory to God. Lack has to bow. Sickness has to bow. Situations have to bow. Circumstances have to bow. The storm rose, but Jesus rose up. Listen, listen, listen. He rose up. He didn't wonder, oh, who am I? Uh, will the storm listen to me? Will the sea listen? No, he said, he stood up and he said, peace be still. There was a day the devil came and said, if you are the son of God, prove it. He said, I don't need to prove nothing to you. But when the situation arose, he proved it to the world. He said, peace be still. He walked, he stood up with a dominion mindset. I am in dominion. I have authority over the storms of life. I, therefore, I speak with authority. He didn't mince his words. He was not polite. He spoke, the Bible says, he rebuked. Another word for rebuke is scold. He scolded. He rebuked the wind. He scolded the wind. He said, who do you think you are? Who do you think? Do you not know who I am? That's how you need to talk to your situation. Don't you know I'm a child of God? Don't you know that I am been, I've been bought with the blood of Jesus? Don't you know I have authority over you? Therefore, I command you, body, rise up from this bed of sickness. Rise up from the bed of sickness. Money, wherever you are, I'm commanding you in the name of Jesus, come now to me. Because God said, all my needs are met. Whatever you focus, you magnify. Whatever you focus, you magnify. If you focus on the problem, the problem is magnified. If you focus on the word, the word is magnified. Are you with me this morning? So through the day, I develop my faith and my intimacy with God as I dwell in the Word and, de and develop my dominion mindset. I'm a winner. And when you're saying it, the devil will laugh at you. Look at yourself. You're a winner. Look at that problem you have. Look at that lack you have. You can't even pay the rent. And you're saying you're a winner? Yes. You will not tell me who I am. Circumstances don't tell me who I am. He tells me who I am. And he said, I'm a winner. I'm more than, therefore I conclude, I'm more than a conqueror. And watch it. I'm going to overcome you. I am an overcomer. You lack, you will bow to me. There will be no lack in my house. There will be no lack in my life. There will be no lack. Not a day will there be when there is a lack in my house. Because I'm in covenant with God. And he has provided everything that I have need of. And my provision, watch this, is not based on my employment. My provision, because people say, if only I had a better job. They don't pay me enough. I don't get enough, enough salary. <laughs> that, that's your problem. I said, that's your problem. Because you're looking at something in this tangible world to supply. But all our supplies come from the intangible world, which is a spirit. Stop complaining. Wherever you're working, the question you should ask is not, do I, am I getting paid enough? It, am I working to develop the giftings that God has placed in me? And am I contributing in some way to be a blessing to others? Is this the place that God wants me to be a blessing? N you know? Your salary is not what determines what you should be doing. Your salary, it does not 
determine where you will be working. Are you with me? God is my source. Glory to God. Thank you for joining our online community. For weekly updates, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also click the bell button for further notifications.